We'll showcase NPC mods new player actions. They are meant to control the NPCs that you're hired. As you can see, it's day one, start a new game. And the first thing we'll do is give ourselves some, uh, sorry, some coins, uh, maybe a pistol and some ammo. And we'll craft these actions. There are three right now. Put those in the tool belt. And hire an NPC. Right now, all the NPCs... Uh, we'll take a baker. All the NPCs have this advanced AI package that we're going to test today. We're taking the... Baker pipe pistol just because he will have a delay in shooting and will give us time to um, test some of these functions. So by default, if we were to spawn a bow, all the NPCs will target hostiles to the player. So we were able to see that. And so that's the first mode. It'll essentially attack anything that would be hostile towards you. Second mode is what we call threat control. Threat control. And in threat control, you can identify threats in the game, uh, in the entity classes. And once they're flagged, essentially the NPC will not attack them. As you can see, it won't attack them by default. But it will, once I'm damaged, Start attacking them. Get rid of this guy. As the first mode of them attacking. So, in this case, threats are hostile animals and zombie animals. That's what's been defined by default. But if we were to spawn in another zombie bow, it wouldn't be identified as a threat, so it would attack them. And the reason why we identify threats is to make sure that we don't get into sticky situations, especially early game. If you get wolves and you find an NPC and the NPC starts shooting at the wolf, well, that's going to be a tough situation to get out of. Uh, zombies should be fine for, for early game. The second mode is if we were to spawn in another one of these wolves, and I decide to target it. So once I target it, it sees it as a threat to me, not a threat, but hostile towards me, and we'll start shooting it. And then the last mode, let's assume you didn't have any ranged capability and you did see a wolf. Uh, this help one essentially triggers them to start attacking whatever's around you. I think it's about 20 meters of uh, area of effect as a way to help you out in case you're in a, a tough spot. And then the last mode is called full control. Full control. And this in this mode there actually is no threat identification. Anything that's spawned, let's spawn a bow. Uh, they won't shoot at. And it's a way for you to simply have them move with you without them shooting at anything. And uh, it's good in some cases it gets annoying when they shoot at everything that they see and you just want to move away from a certain area. Um, and it's bound by the same actions. If I target it, it'll start shooting. If it damages me, it'll start shooting. And same thing if I were to press that help. So let's get rid of this guy. And we'll, we'll give a, a situation. So if we were to spawn a whole bunch of bikers, for example, a whole bunch and and we wanted to get away from these guys well I, I want him to follow me i don't want him to engage so we'll just go around these guys it's not very fast but that's fine because there's just no way we could deal with all of them but at the same time if i were to you know get far enough and say you know what i i need you to start shooting at them i can shoot shooting but then if it's too much you can ask it to stop oh. what happens then is 
he starts shooting and he just goes back to me. You can re-engage if you want. Resume. In this case, I'm not sure why he's not re-engaging. Well, then. See, I want him to get out of there. Oh. Come on, follow me. It's funny, because they, they tend to follow the same path, whether it's the NPC or the, the hostiles. <clears throat> So this kind of covers the, the different modes. I'll put them back into hunting. As you can see, this is what you'd deal hunting. with. Hunting. If he was in hunting, he'd be toast. There's there's nothing I can do to stop him from dying. And that kind of covers the three modes.